Hey, what's up, y'all? Martech79 here. We are back again today with another Essays Figure Arts Action Figure Review. Today, we are taking a look at the Marvel Studios Spider Man No Way Home, the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, Peter Parker, based off Tobey Maguire, the first movie Spider Man from my childhood. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man that I have ever had in my collection. I really didn't start collecting action figures, man, until kind of all of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans were kind of X'd out and they got discontinued and they just exploded in the aftermarket. So I never had the opportunity to grab one. So I know that as soon as SH Figure Arts and Marvel Legends announced their version of this uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, I know I had to have both of them. Marvel Legends isn't out yet. SH Figure Arts came out first. So I'm ready to really turn into them and just have a fun time reviewing this figure. So get a look at the box here. Oh God, look at the box at the back here. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Got some Japanese writing here. It's posability, looks good. Caution for ages 15 and up. Japanese writing, Bandai Namco. Let's go to the side here. Friendly Neighborhood Spidey. It's good, I like it. Let's go back to the front. Have a smiling Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire. Stern face, Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire. Most likely how I'm going to have him pose without the mask because the Marvel Legends does not come with a faceless Tobey Maguire, so I'm going to have him just like that, most likely. It's cool that he comes with the unmasked hand there, pointing finger, stretched out hands, so. All right, man, let's snuff doll. Let's crack him open, and then let's get started here. And we're back, man, and now we have our Tobey Maguire Spidey out of the package, and look at that. Oh, my gosh. The nostalgia is taking over me 100%, man. It came front. Just getting this out of the package and taking a look at it just brings back all of my childhood memories of watching the original Spider-Man movie trilogy all those years years ago. It's so cool, man. I have no qualms or gripes or whatever about the nostalgia look of this figure. It comes out great, man. Truly, it does. I know this is the one that's supposed to be based off of No Way Home, but I mean, it's a spinning image of the suit uh, from the original trilogy, man. I love it. I really do. I know but a lot of people were worried about the Tobey Maguire heads. I can assure you that they come out great. I don't really have any gripes about them at all. Obviously, you know, Toby is a bit older. I mean, it's 15, 20 years later, but they come out good, man. They really do. Hair comes out good. Face sculpt comes out good. The only thing about the figure arts face sculpts, they don't really look that much better than the Marvel Legends face sculpts, if I'm being completely honest. So keep that in mind. But, I mean, they still get the job done. He comes with a smiling face too. Honestly, I'm not really interested in in that though, but I'm happy that he comes with the serious face. Comes with holding the mask hand too, so that's pretty cool. Spin that around for you guys, get a look at that. It's fine. Webbing, short webbings, long webbings. What you're gonna wanna do is take off the hands and put it around the wrist. That's how you attach that, so pretty standard. So it comes with pointing hands, uh, open palm hands, webbing hands, uh, resting palm hands, and uh, shooting webbing hands, or thumbs up hands, whichever you want to call that. But it's shooting web hands, man. Just, just a different variation of it. It comes out good, though. That's really about it for that. Let's go run through his articulation here. Head down, up, tilt, tilt with the neck and the head. Rotate 360 degrees. Arm, rotate 360 degrees. Up, down, it's on a butterfly hinge. You shift it forward, shift it backwards, shift it down, shift it up. Full range of motion, get them into all those dynamic Spider-Man poses. Elbow, all the way up, down, bicep swivel, Wrist swivel, push it up, push it back, tilt it to the left and to the right. Chest, crunch, back crunch, tilt, tilt, rotate to the 360 degrees. Abs, crunch, back crunch so keep that in mind the back can crunch and the abs can, can crunch the abs cannot rotate 360 degrees though but they can tilt slightly to the left and to the right that's a very good articulation there leg kick outward 
kick forward, kick backwards, full range of motion. It's on a butterfly hinge on the hips as well. Knee all the way back. Thigh swivel, 360. Knee swivel, none. Full range of motion though with the knee. Ankle down. The reel's kind of a rough gap, just keep that in mind. Go up, tilt, left and right, toe hinge, bing. Articulation is top notch for a Spider-Man figure. You have full range of motion in basically every part of his of his body. So that comes out good, man. You wanna pop in a web, you simply take out a hand, plug in a webbing like such, take another hand, plug it in like such, comes out good. Like I say, you simply just unhook a hand, plug the webbing in, put it on the wrist joint, and then plug the hand back in. Comes out good. If you want to change out a head, simply un unplug. Take Tobey Maguire head, like such, plug that in. Should be relatively simple. Like such, comes out good. Liking that a lot. All right, man. Let's do a comparison first before we go through articulations here. So I don't have the Tom Holland SH figure on Spider figure. I just have the Marvel Legends. But, I mean, in my opinion, this is the Marvel Legends compared to the figure arts. I mean, that comes out good. I mean, Toby is supposed to be taller somewhat than Tom, but not by that much. I mean, honestly, I feel like that comes out good. Honestly, the face sculpts, you can't really tell that that's a Marvel Legends compared to an SH figure arts. I feel like they're about the same quality. Obviously, the articulation is going to be leagues better than the Marvel Legends. But from an aesthetic standpoint, I was going to look on the shelf. This is how I plan on posing them. I feel like that's going to come out really good. So can't be mad at that at all. I'm really, really loving that for sure. Just for my own pleasure, don't mind me. Just one more look at the Spider Bros here, man, before we take Tom Holland off of the review stand. God, we need Andrew bad, man. I uh, never collected an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man figure from my collection back in the day either. So we need him desperately now. We got to have him. Either the Marvel Legends or the Fig Arts, whichever comes first, man gotta have it right post concept one just your standard uh, spider-man swinging through the air pose uh, had this pose hundreds of times man you can easily get into the pose just utilize the hip joints here comes out good even with the gappage of the hips i feel like can't really get any better than that i mean it is an action figure not really a fan of the little metal hinges that we see on the ankles here but it kind of blends in with the webbing of the suit so it's not that big of a deal but of course we're utilizing the web here obviously this is a pose you're only going to be able to get with a stamp so keep that in mind that comes out good man really really liking that for sure all right air pulse concept two just kind of a, just a different variation of the last pose, except he's just attacking rather than flying through the air this time. He's attacking through the air. Comes out good, man. Really, really liking that. We utilize, utilize the butterfly joints and the back and the ab crunches, the wrist rotations and the ankle rotations to get this pose going on. Of course, the neck comes out good. Really, really liking that as well. Of course, you need to utilize a stand to get this pose going as well. And of course, if you have a train, you could get him into the <laughs> train holding pose too, which is one of my favorites. I'm really, really liking that as well. <laughs> All right, classic Spider-Man pose. I admit I have never been the best Spider-Man poser. Probably just from my lack of uh, super articulated figure on Spider-Man figures, man. I've only had a couple ever in my collection. So it's the best I could do to get that classic you know, the sitting comfortable pose. It comes out good, man. Even with my lack of experience, I feel like even the most common poser can get this pose going on their shelf if they so choose. Just make sure you angle it right. It's all good. Utilizing every aspect of the articulation here from the wrist to the hips, to the knees, to the toes, to the ankles, to the back, to the ab, to the neck. Every part of it. Comes out good though, man. Really, really liking that. Crawling pose, kind of tough because I couldn't really get the neck to look up like I wanted to. It's as far as I can get it to go, so that's kind of a disappointment. I mean, if you wanted to get him into a crawling pose, I don't really see too many people putting their Spider-Man figures like this into a crawling pose. But I mean, this is something random to gripe about. Overall, obviously, yeah, I love the figure, but if I had to point out one nitpick, you know, 
definitely it's going to be that but other than that obviously he can get into a crawling pose but this looks kind of weird since he can look up all the way with his neck it's another little dynamic spider-man pose here nothing too crazy just got the legs spread out almost as far as they'll go comes out good man really, really liking that too just simple Spread out the legs, put down the arm, put the other arm up, ready for action, point up the neck. Comes out good, man. And I think that's gonna about do it, man. I didn't even talk about price. I paid $90 retail for this. Got it from Ageless Geeks. So happy to have him in. Like I said, this is the first Tobey Maguire figure that I've ever had in my collection. So definitely some bias comes into play. Most likely when the Marvel Legends comes in, this one will probably add more critiques to it. But just for this one specifically, I'm just happy to have this version of this beloved character that I have loved for so long to finally have it on my shelf, man. Truly. So, do I want to pose him with the mask or without the mask? I think we're going to go without the mask kind of like that i think that was always my original plan is to have the spider bros on the shelf just like this especially with the toby Maguire head and then when i got the marble ledges in which obviously i've mentioned numerous times that i have also pre-ordered i was going to have them all of their action poses with the mask and with the marble legends kind of sucks with the figure arts andrew garfield figure as we all know that phase for him got canceled so I don't know what I'm going to do there. It's very frustrating. We'll decide a plan, and then we'll go from there. Okay, man. Let's go ahead and let's move everything to the museum, and we will begin to close out here. And we're back, man, and now we have our Tobey Maguire Spider-Man added onto the shelf. And man, does that look good. Oh, my goodness. Such a dream come true to be able to add characters specifically from my childhood onto the shelf. Look at that. We took our Ned, moved him off to the side, and our MJ moved her off to the side. That is okay. <laughs> Toby's gonna get this center spot with Tom. It's all good, it works out, man. Gotta get the two Peters in here. And now we just need Andrew with a face sculpt. Hopefully they're able to work that out. I feel like him being on the other side of Tom here would just come out so perfect. Gosh, man, come on. Somebody's gotta do that for me, man. Notice the shift just looks kind of just so lackluster without him on there. Gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. Just one more look at our spider shrine here. I need to get the spider monkey. I really need to get that stealth suit. It's kind of the only one that I'm missing from the MCU. I think I need the homemade suit as well. I know they float around some Facebook groups, but I just gotta book it down and grab them, man. It's kind of ridiculous that I don't have them in my collection yet. With that, I think we're going to end it, man. So, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you are, are a fan of action figures or Spider-Man from the comics, movies, the TV shows, the video games in general, you're in exactly the right place. Spider-Man has always been my favorite comic book character since I was a little boy, and whenever they produce anything new for Spider-Man, I would be right on board. Always. So, you can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79. I am also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, my friends, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Avengers. Assemble.